we are barely a week until Christmas. And Christmas can be kind of a hard time for those of us who do the carnivore diet, partially because you know, we have to go visit family and friends at the holidays, and they may not understand our diet, so they go, oh, you know, you may have explained it in some way using the word keto just to try to make it understandable. So at Christmas dinner, they present to you a bunch of broccoli and other things you wouldn't normally eat. But this time of year can be tough for us also, and that's because what do you buy someone in your life who's on the carnivore diet for Christmas? I've got five items here for you that can help make a carnivore Christmas a little bit better. And they range in value from pretty cheap to moderate price. You're not going to see me do anything, although it's super expensive, like uh, this item on my screen right here, which is the pellet grill that I own. And those things are not exactly cheap, but they make a wonderful gift. If you can afford to get one for somebody, it would, they would, pellet grills are a game changer for the carnivore diet. I have a whole video on that. I won't repeat myself here, but that's an honorable mention on the high end of things. But here's some five affordable things that be that can help give you gift ideas for the carnivore in your life for Christmas with one week left to go. So the first we have here is a good meat slicer. And good meat slicers are thin. They are thin bladed. These are not typical carving knives. If you want to be able to cut thin cuts of meat, cut meat thin, like slice it thin, where you could just, you're not sawing through the meat. A good slicer is the way to go. And this one is the Marico Ultra Sharp Premium 11-inch stainless steel carving knife. You can find it on Amazon. I don't have an affiliate link or anything. I have this one. It's wonderful. It uh, makes wonderfully, I, I can cut roasts and brisket and all sorts of things with no effort whatsoever with this. And I just got this about two weeks ago. And we cut up a brisket with it. We've done ribs. I mean, it's great. Great tool for the kitchen, for the carnivore in your life. I highly recommend that every carnivore should have one of these. And again, I don't make any money telling you that. The next one is vacuum sealing bags. Now, why do you want some vacuum sealing bags? Because if you're on the carnivore diet, you often will go to the grocery store and be looking for deals. You'll be finding bulk sales or you'll go there at the right time of morning and you'll see 10 ribeye steaks marked down by 30%. For the store to get rid of because they're hitting their sell-by date and you want to take them all home and you want to put, put them in your freezer and have them last for the long term vacuum sealing bags are good for that now of course you need to have a vacuum sealer to make them work but you know we all quibble about these things but vacuum sealing bags are a great gift for the carnivore in your life especially if you know that they actually have a vacuum sealer just take a peek at the machine they have and look to see what uh, bags they need in terms of the size or whatever but Get some vacuum sealing bags. They won't go to waste. This is a practical gift for the carnivore in your life for Christmas. The next one is a moderate price thing. This is a, a sous vide kit. Uh, sous vide machines are interesting. They're a way of they're a different way of cooking beef. If you watched uh, Dr. Sean Baker's videos, sous vide is usually how he does most of the cooking for his meat. He'll then throw them into his expensive auto wild grill and sear them at fifteen hundred degrees sounds amazing but sous vide is where the meat goes into essentially a freezer bag basically and gets put into a pot a pot of water and the sous vide machine itself heats the water to a cooking temperature that can take a few hours or an hour and a half or something like a scalding hot water for you or i but it's actually a cooking temperature and it creates the most tender way of cooking imaginable you can take the toughest gnarliest cut and make it very tender by soup by, by using it you know using the sous vide method for cooking if you want to look for another game changer for your carnivore diet where you're tired of pan searing and oven roasting a sous vide is a good way to go this is makes a great moderate gift for the carnivore in your life you can find it on amazon and other places pretty easily the next option are probably not surprising you see this Carnivore crisps. These are the bison ones. I'll get that off the screen because it's probably glaring in the, in the reflection. But they look like this. They're a nice little snack on the go. I take I tend to use these when I'm, you know, when I'm thinking ahead, on like, you know, that video I did earlier in the week about, you know, the artificial sweeteners I had to consume just to stay awake. When I'm thinking ahead, I will have a pack of these ready to go, a little mixed bag of these. This is the bison one. Take a look at that crisp sound. 
right? They're, they're actually crunchy. To satisfy that basic crunch crave that we tend to get, but to have a hard time finding a solution for, and they only have salt in them. Redmond's real salt. Again, these are the bison ones, so yes, that's a ruminant. Link in the description if you're interested. There's a promo code there to save yourself 10% upon your order. Good gift for Christmas. Nice stocking stuffer kind of thing. Because a lot of carnivores miss the ability to snack. The snack's not really something we do. But it's also a good way to round out like the protein you're consuming for your meal. If you're wanting a little extra protein and you're eating a lot of you're eating fatty meats, put those on, a couple of those on the side and suddenly you've got a crunchy side to go with your meat. It's like having steak and fries or something. It's good stuff. And finally, the most practical carnivore item of them all. The Redmond's Real Salt 10-Pound Bucket. <laughs> This is going all in when you get the Redmond's Real Salt 10-pound bucket. It's also in short supply. They're hard to get because when they when Amazon gets them, they get snapped up. Now, you can go to Redmond's Real Salt's website probably and order them directly from them. 10 pounds of salt will last carnivore in your life quite a while. I mean, after all, their little, three, their little, their little bags, they sell the one-pound bags, can last a person a couple of weeks probably. But this 10-pound bucket will last them in the spring most likely. And it comes in a neat little bucket. It's easy to store out of the way as long as you can put it in a corner or something and then just open it up and get the salt you need for your salt shaker or whatnot. But imagine the look on their face when they open up their Christmas gift from you and it's Redmond's Real Salt 10 pound bucket. Or imagine the look on their face when you, you know, when they open up all their gifts and you've gotten them, you know, a nice meat slicer, which tend to be on sale right now, a vacuum sealing bags, sous vide kit, carnivore crisps, and Redmond's Real Salt. They'll know that you were thinking of them, that you actually put some thought into the gifts instead of the generic gift card that I always get some of my own family members because some of them are very hard to shop for. I'm curious what other gifts you would suggest to people for uh, Christmas this year. So let me know in the comments what gifts for the carnivore in your life you think are a good option that aren't expensive. I can't see people putting meat under the tree, you know. That might be bad, you know, you you know, Christmas morning someone opens their tree, you, you come down and there's a sort of a stinking rotting smell because someone put wrapped up a ribeye steak or something and put it under the tree. So let's keep it within the realm of things that that are actually feasible. But what are good gifts for the for the carnivore in your life that you can think of? Let me know in the comments, please. Like and subscribe if you haven't. It really does help as does sharing this on social media. That helps a lot as well. I'm Anthony Stein, the practical carnivore, and thanks for your time today.